For the past two years, the James Webb Telescope has delivered breathtaking images of the cosmos. As the most powerful space telescope ever built, it has been unveiling the universe's deepest and most ancient mysteries. While it has offered astronomers groundbreaking insights, it has also raised several puzzling questions. How is it possible that galaxies exist that, based on our current understanding, shouldn't be there at all? And why does Webb's measurement of the Hubble constant, which describes the universe's expansion rate, conflict with our established models? These are the mysteries experts are now striving to solve. The James Webb Telescope not only helps unravel the universe's most perplexing mysteries, but also captures its awe-inspiring and, at times, almost intimidating beauty, constantly reminding us of our small place within the vast cosmos. While humans often consider themselves the pinnacle of creation, it's a personal choice whether to embrace such a lofty notion. However, when we think about the most breathtaking marvels in the universe, it becomes clear who the true creators are. To clarify, the James Webb Telescope hasn't uncovered some mysterious force responsible for creating the cosmos. Instead, along with Hubble, it has offered an unprecedented combined view of the pillars of creation, one of the most iconic images in modern space exploration. Approximately 7,000 light years from Earth, within the open star cluster of the Eagle Nebula, lie the radiant pillars of a stellar nursery, first captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. Stellar formation begins in dense, cool clouds of gas and dust. When these gas clumps collapse under their own gravity, they form a protostar, which draws in matter from its surroundings. Once enough mass accumulates, hydrogen fusion ignites within, transforming it into a true star. However, stars often form in clusters, like those in the Pillars of Creation. While Hubble's 1995 image showcased these structures in visible light, the James Webb Space Telescope has now provided an infrared view of this iconic region. By combining these two images, we gain entirely new insights into this structure, whose finger-like extensions are larger than our entire solar system. Within the dusty, cloud-like cocoons, numerous newborn protostars and stars are tucked away, while their intense radiation and stellar winds have carved massive holes in the dust clouds, giving them their distinctive look. Given this awe-inspiring sight, it's no surprise that the Pillars of Creation were one of the first targets for the James Webb Telescope in 2022. NASA has now merged the Hubble and Webb images to uncover even more details. Infrared images expose the infant stars and cool gas elements, while visible light reveals the glowing hot gases of this stellar nursery. The result isn't just a photo, but a video as well. By watching the clip, you can enjoy an exciting flight through the three-dimensional pillars of creation, with the view shifting between visible and infrared light, demonstrating once again why exploring different facets of the same structure using multiple space telescopes is crucial. The stellar family portrait, equally captivating as the iconic view of the pillars of creation, is Webb's latest snapshot in the Serpent's Nebula, located 1,300 light years away. This image reveals another stellar nursery, specifically a reflection nebula which doesn't emit its own light but is illuminated by the stars within and around it. While past telescopes struggled to penetrate these nebulae, Webb's near-infrared camera can cut through the dust and gas, unveiling details that had long escaped us. In the image, the vibrant hues of orange, red, and blue gas and dust are complemented by the brilliant glow of countless young stars. Some of these stars, still in their infancy at just 100,000 years old, will one day grow to have the mass of our sun. The key takeaway from this star family portrait is a striking detail. The flame-like structures in the top left corner of the image resembling massive shreds. These features are actually gas and radiation outflows from young stars, 
which in previous visible light images appeared as blurred spots or were completely hidden. NASA likens these protostellar outflows to heavy rain falling during a fierce storm. This is the first image to show all the outflows aligned in the same direction. While these structures seem to move from top left to bottom right in the image, for researchers, they serve as crucial evidence. This supports the theory that young stars typically rotate in the same direction as their gaseous envelopes collapse. But what about the black bars at the bottom left and top right of the image? Did NASA use editing tools here to obscure potential UFO sightings? It's not as thrilling as it might seem. Those black rectangles just represent missing data. The first image of the Super Jupiter. There are now 6,911 known exoplanets across 4,941 systems, and the count of these planetary worlds orbiting stars other than the Sun is increasing almost daily. As part of the ongoing search for new planets, researchers have already mapped some unusual celestial bodies. One example is the gas giant HD 189733b, located just 63 light years away, which, according to recent discoveries, smells like rotten eggs. While this may sound odd or amusing, it's actually the first proof of hydrogen sulfide on an exoplanet. Beyond that, scientists have demonstrated their keen instincts in other areas too, as they've identified several nearby exoplanets, some Earth-sized and potentially habitable. One such planet, K218b, has been making headlines for months, as it's believed to be an ocean world where life may have already taken root. Webb's near-infrared spectrometer, NIR spec, has identified some potential biosignatures, including spectral signatures of methane, carbon dioxide, and dimethyl sulfide, DMS. On Earth, DMS is mainly produced by marine plankton and through the breakdown of organic matter, contributing to atmospheric sulfur and creating the distinctive ocean scent. However, interpreting the DMS signal from K. 218B is not straightforward. The signal was faint in Webb's data and only became apparent through a specialized method of analysis. Until this discovery is fully understood, we'll need to wait for more clarity. Meanwhile, Webb also captured an image of a completely different region, providing a fresh perspective. Even with the many exoplanets already discovered, clear images of these distant worlds remain rare. Most images primarily depict young, hot gas giants, which stand out as bright spots in infrared light. However, a more intriguing discovery has emerged. A few weeks ago, Elizabeth Matthews and her team from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg succeeded in directly imaging a cold, older exoplanet for the first time. This breakthrough was made possible by studying the triple star system Epsilon Indy, located just 12 light years away. The system comprises two brown dwarfs and the orange dwarf star Epsilon Indy A. Previous spectral analyses had suggested the presence of a large planetary companion, but later observations using Webb's MIRI spectrograph revealed that the exoplanet was located in a completely different position than initially thought. This discrepancy arose because earlier studies significantly underestimated the mass and orbit of this giant gas planet. We are examining a celestial body that can be confidently termed a super Jupiter. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has a diameter of about 140,000 kilometers and a mass equivalent to 318 Earths. In contrast, the bright point of light captured in the images of Epsilon Indy is likely six times more massive than Jupiter. Named Epsilon Indy AB, this massive exoplanet orbits the main star Epsilon Indy A in a relatively eccentric path, with its farthest distance roughly equivalent to the space between the Sun and Neptune. This unique orbital shape means that it takes an impressive 200 years to complete one full orbit. This eccentricity also accounts for the unexpected discrepancies observed in earlier studies, as the planet was detected 
at its closest approach to the star, leading to the incorrect assumption of a circular orbit. The recent analysis not only included an orbit adjustment, but also unveiled various characteristics of the exoplanet. For instance, the temperature here averages around 0 degrees Celsius, and at approximately 3.5 billion years old, this gas giant is far from being a young planet. Among the roughly 25 exoplanets that have been directly imaged so far, all were under 500 million years old, with most being less than 100 million years old. In this context, Epsilon Indy AB stands out as not only the coldest, but also the oldest exoplanet ever directly imaged. The resulting images are not just visually appealing to scientists, they also offer significant potential for new discoveries. Aged exoplanets like this are particularly valuable for testing our models of planetary evolution and acquiring insights into the later stages of extrasolar worlds. At the same time, Epsilon Indy AB still holds some mysteries, as parts of its radiation in the shorter wavelength range seem to be disappearing. This could be due to clouds in the gas giant's atmosphere that absorb infrared radiation, with chemical compounds like methane, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide also being potential contributors.